Becoming a blockchain developer is one of the fastest ways to change your career and break into an exciting new industry. It's one of the highest paying fields in tech and it's incredibly remote friendly. And one of the best ways to break into the industry in no time is to have a winning portfolio. And in this video, I wanna share with you a top strategy for leveling up your portfolio that will give you 10X results so that you can land the job in no time. This is exactly what I would do if I would start over. It's personally what I've helped some of my top students do. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this in this video and give you some free resources that'll help you accomplish this. I'm gonna talk about all this as a self-taught blockchain developer myself who works with technology on a daily basis and has helped countless other people do exactly what I'm showing you. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master step-by-step step from start to finish, break in this industry and do everything that I'm talking about in record time, I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So if you're trying to break into the Web 3.0 industry, whether you're an experienced developer already or you're just starting from scratch with no programming experience, most people don't really care about where you went to school or what job you had before. They really only care about what you can presently do right now. And one of the best ways to do this is to have a winning portfolio. So I've stressed this point multiple times on my YouTube channel, but if you haven't seen those videos, you're brand new around here. Basically at a minimum, like once you've learned enough coding, you need to create an application for yourself put it out there on the web and then put it into a marketing website just like this one that shows people who you are, what you can do. And you should put your projects here where they can click through to it and you actually use the application that you've created and see the source code. Now, once you've done this, that's what I would call a minimum viable portfolio. But now I wanna talk about how to take that to the next step that can literally 10X your results. And what that next step is, is to actually create a demonstration video, a showcase for your portfolio, where you basically wanna create a video kind of like what you're watching right now that shows people the application that you've created, actually walk through it and use it so they can see how to use it. Create a diagram of how the application works and explain it, and then briefly walk through the source code and explain what each part of the code does. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to do this step-by-step -step here in a minute and then give you some of those free resources on how you can accomplish this. But let me briefly explain why this is so important because I've been on every side of this problem. I've been a new developer trying to get my first job with no experience, completely self-taught. I've been a developer trying to change industries and now I hire developers so I know what it looks like to be on the other side of this. And I also personally help and train other developers who are trying to accomplish this exact same thing. So I've seen everything. And I can tell you when most people are trying to hire, they're really asking two questions. Number one, what can you do? And number two, what are you like? So fundamentally, do you have the skills are you going to do whatever it takes to get the job done? And what are your soft skills like? How do you communicate? And really, do I like working with you? And most of the time, you have to go through a grueling interview process to find out all this information. But if you do exactly what I'm about to show you, you're going to accomplish a lot of that in just a few short minutes. And this can be a powerful tool for pre-qualifying you before you even get to the interview and can make that process even faster. Maybe you get to skip the interview entirely. All right, so now let's walk through this step-by-step -step about exactly what you need, how to put this together, and some free resources that you can use to pull this off. Okay, so first and foremost, you obviously need a portfolio project of some sort. I'm just gonna use this particular project. Uh, this is a Zillow clone that I did on my channel. You can check this out for free if you want to, obviously, and then build some features on top of it or recreate an application like it from scratch. Here's the source code on my GitHub repository. Here's an example of the application uh, you know, running on my local server. But at a minimum, you need some smart contracts, put it out there in a test network, people can use it. You need a website, front end, people can use the application and then that is deployed live to the web. That's your project, okay? So step number two is then you need a portfolio website, obviously, like I was talking about, that markets you. Uh, here's an example, okay? So here's a portfolio website that says, hey, here's who I am, here's all my socials, here's a quick elevator pitch, and then here's my projects down here. So you can click through uh, to the website to use it, and then once you wire this up, that would link through to your, uh, let's see here, your portfolio application deployed live to the web, and then they could go through and start using the application to demo it, all right? And then similarly, there's a code button here, and then they can click through the code, and that will link through to your source code on GitHub. Now, in terms of free resources for this portfolio website, unfortunately, I can't give this one away because I actually paid a designer to go through and create this, and I've used this for some of my top students who I've personally mentored, so it wouldn't be 100% fair for me to just give it away to you for free, but I can give you this free portfolio template, which is live on my GitHub. Uh, you can just check through. It's called Portfolio Template on the DAP University GitHub. It's kind of the same thing. Uh, it's just a little leaner. But now let's get into the really important part that I'm trying to talk about, which is the application showcase. So this is a demo, all right? So on top of just having an app out there in the code, you wanna have a video presentation of you using the application and walking it through. 
Now, let's talk about some principles to put into place here. So what you have to understand is this is really a sales pitch for you and what you can do, but you don't want to treat it like a used car salesman or something like that. What you're doing is trying to just show that you are competent and that you're a good communicator and people like working with you. So in order to be effective for this, you really have five seconds to sort of capture the person's attention and show them who you are. So you wanna be brief and to the point. So a quick format of how this video should go is you should automatically have your application on screen when you start. And you just wanna begin by saying like, hey, I'm John or hey, I'm Susan. And I wanna quickly walk through my portfolio project here, Milo, that's just what this application is called, and how you can use it, how the code works, and then jump straight into the demo. And ideally, you you want to practice this, you want to have a pretty good idea of what you want to say ahead of time. And you probably want to take multiple takes and pick the best one because really you're trying to capture this person's attention quickly and doing it several times will help you do that. Now, you don't want to be so scripted that you sound like a robot. You want it to be natural and extemporaneous. And it's not a bad idea to send this video to a couple other people and get their thoughts on what they think about it before you publish it. So anyways, you want to get into it. You want to demo the app. Now you want to treat this like someone has no idea what they're doing whenever they see this website. They don't know what the first step is because Unless you're an amazing UX designer, some people may not know what to do when they look at your application, okay? Even if they're familiar with blockchain, you want to treat them like they don't know. So you want to explain they have to have MetaMask installed in order to do it. If you're deployed to a test network, you want to show them that, you know, hey, they need to select the correct test network here. If it's Gourley, tell them to switch their MetaMask to Gourley. Tell them they need some uh, test ether in their wallet and where to get it. Okay, you can point them to a faucet. If that faucet doesn't work, you can say, hey, you can email me and I'll send you some test ether in order to demo the application, okay? Just really basic stuff. And then tell them they need to click the connect button, all right, in order to do it. And then show them if they want to purchase a property on this Zillow clone, they need to go down here. And, and don't tell them like step-by-step step that they need to do this. Just show yourself doing it, but maybe explain every single step, okay? And then so anyways, you go to this property, you open it, you can see all the details about it, all right? That it's a luxury penthouse in New York City, that it has all the information about the property, that it's, it's an NFT, and they're buying the NFT. And when they do this, they're transferring the ownership of the property. You can explain what problem that solves here in a minute, okay? But then you click buy, all right? And then just demo the actual purchase, click confirm, all right? And then show that whenever they've done it, that it's transferred their wallet and now that they're the owner of the real estate. And so that's it. You wanna be really quick, straightforward to the point. Don't drag this out. You want to be very brief because the person watching this likely doesn't have a lot of time. And so that's the first core feature. And if there's any other bells and whistles on your application that you want to show them, now is your time to do that. All right, so next, whenever you have demoed the application, it's good to have some sort of diagram on how it works. And that diagram is really two things. Number one is a diagram of the architecture of the application. And number two is a diagram of just the concepts that are in play. So let's start off with that, okay? So this is a diagram of the real estate application that I was just talking about. You can explain what the problem that the app solves is that it facilitates, um, you know, it adds efficiency to the real estate process where you're cutting out a lot of the middlemen that are normally responsible for this. You can escrow the funds inside of a contract and then how, you know, what role the buyer and the seller plays as well as the lender, the inspector and the appraisal all in this real estate transaction and which smart contracts are involved. The real estate NFT and then the escrow contract and then walk through the flow. Like the seller lists the property, the buyer deposits earnest money, there's appraisal inspection, lender approves. Yeah, I'm kind of speed running through all this, but you get the idea. You want to have a, a pretty strong conceptual overview with diagrams so they can visualize it. Many people are very visual and this will help a lot, okay? So then you want to also use some sort of visual to talk about the actual architecture of the code. So like, for example, the person, uh, you know, is connected their wallet to a browser that's talking to your website where you could see everything and that talks to your NFT contract in the back, which facilitates the buying and selling of real estate. And then who gets the funds whenever this stuff happens. And this is a kind of simple diagram. Probably you're going to have a more sophisticated application that has multiple smart contracts that are all working together. And this is your chance to talk about how do those smart contracts talk to one another and what's actually happening behind the scenes whenever somebody uses your application. This is a chance for your expertise to really shine. And this is a really good way so that you can communicate technical concepts of somebody who's not technical. It's a huge value for developers. So in this step, you want to pretend like you're communicating this to someone who does not know how to code. And if you want some free resources on how to diagram like this, you can use Figma Jam. That's the exact application that I'm using right now that he's in a lot of my videos, 100% free. All right, now the final step is the code explanation. So in the previous step, you want to have some sort of diagram overview of how the project works that's when you're explaining it to somebody like they're not super technical, like maybe they're not a coder, but they, you want to get a sense of how the application works. 
Now in this step, you're gonna explain the code, okay? And you wanna talk to someone who understands coding in this case, okay? So what I would do is just pull up your GitHub repository, that way they can go look at the code itself and follow along with you. Anyone is gonna go through each step, you know, step by step. You could even pull up your diagram and go back and forth, like start with the NFT contract, okay? You have know, the contracts directory, and then you can talk about the real estate. Uh, let's just see here, contract, that this is an NFT, that it, you know, comes from the Open Zeppelin library that you're using that to get off the ground. You can explain what the mint function does, uh, all this type of stuff. I'm not gonna go into each of these steps step by step. It's kind of self-explanatory in this case, just to explain what each part of the code is doing, okay? Same for the escrow contract. That's the second contract that you see here. Here's the NFT, here's the escrow. And you can kind of go back and forth between your diagram, talk about, you know, a point that you visually demonstrated on your diagram and then point to where that's actually happening in the code, okay? Like for example, if the seller lists a property, all right, then you need to show how you can list the property with this list function inside of the actual contract itself and then explain what that function's doing, okay? When, um, you know, somebody puts the uh, earnest money, like a buyer deposit earnest money, you can show that there's a function for that in the code and explain what it's doing. And you just keep doing these steps over and over again until, you know, you've gone through the entire functionality application and people can kind of connect the dots to your diagram and where it's happening in the code and why you made the choices you did as a developer. And then once you've done that, it's time to do that video, edit it, get it really nice and polished where people can, you know, follow along with it. You don't want it to be super long. You want to, you know, understand that somebody's time is valuable, get straight to the point, and then put it into your uh, website here. Now, a bonus is that you can use this for social media marketing. So if you've got a LinkedIn, you got a Twitter, and you're posting content, you know, to get more eyeballs on it, you can use that video there and say you can click through to the website, which is your portfolio site, you know, to use all this stuff and show exactly uh, what you're talking about. And once you've done this and you've got this video on the portfolio site, you are going to have gone the extra mile, okay? I'm telling you, 99.9% .9 of developers who are trying to change jobs, you know, whether it's their first coding job or, you know, a new coding job, will not do this step, all right? A lot of people won't even create the portfolio in the first place, but if you do that, and you do this, you're, you're a cut above everybody else. And fundamentally, you're going to answer the questions in the employer's mind that they're trying to ultimately get through in the interview, which is, what can you do and what are you like? And if you knock it out of the park with this video, you're gonna pre-qualify yourself by answering those questions before you even talk to that person. It's gonna make the interview process so much easier and you might be able, even be able to skip it entirely. Oh, and lastly, before I finish, I totally forgot to mention the resources for recording your screencast. Um, I'll tell you what I personally use. I use ScreenFlow. That's exactly what I'm recording this video on right now. That's what I record all of my educational content with. Unfortunately, it's not free, but if you want to know exactly what it is, you can just look up ScreenFlow. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. You can just look it up. Um, if you want a free version, you can use open broadcast software. That's OBS. Okay, that's really popular. That's what I use for my live streaming. Uh, you can also pre-record videos on it. And a really simple one that's just really easy to configure outside the box is uh, Loom. Now, unfortunately, you're probably not gonna be able to do a lot of good editing with this, but if you wanna do a really quick one take thing, then Loom's a great way to do that as well. And so that's exactly how this works. So I hope you like this video. You know, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you're just ready to take action on everything that I've talked about in this video today, and maybe you haven't even gotten to the point where you've got the skills, or maybe you feel like your skills are lacking, then you can definitely, you know, check out any of those free videos on my YouTube homepage. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. But if you really want to go for the throat, I can show you to master blockchain step by step start to finish, you know, break into the blockchain industry, increase your salary well past 100K over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.